today I'm going to show you how to replace fascia boards. Um, as you can see on this fascia here, it's rotted away and it's just going to get worse over time. Um, the tools we're going to need to do this today is saw horses for cutting the fascia on, steps for getting up high enough. I've got a bit of fascia here to replace it with. Circular saw and nail gun to cut the fascia and nail it back up. No more gaps. I've got protective equipment for using the power tools, a block to hold the iron up when I get up the top and tape and pencil to mark it all out with. First thing we've got to do now is we'll get the gutter off up the top so we can get full access to the fascia. To do that we've got to take the clips off, pull them back and then we'll just lift the gutter out. Just using multi grips to pull the clips back. Once we've got all the clips undone it's just a matter of rolling the gutter off the clips. So we just roll that out. Right guys, so the next step here now is I've got to get up the top and take some nails out so I can lift that iron up um, and put a block in so I can get the saw and everything through. And of course, when we use playing with the iron and nails and that sort of thing, it's best off to use our, put our safety equipment on. So I'll put some goggles and gloves on. So I just grab my jimmy bar, find the nails, and pull them out. And I'll put my block in so I can get my saw through. Now because that bracket is a bit close to where I want to cut, um, I'm going to have to take that off as well. well. What I have to do now is I've got to find out where I can cut the fascia. Um, if you see right here where these nails are, is where the timbers are. So what I'll do is I'll cut that so I can take just this small piece of fascia off instead of having to replace the whole lot. I'll mark my line, making sure when I mark my line I'm not marking over where the nails are. Now when cutting through this as well, you've got to make sure that you set your depth on your saw blade. Otherwise if you don't, you're going to cut into the bricks and you'll wreck your saw blade. To set the depth of the blade, there's just a little knob around this side. You loosen that and the guard slides up and down, then you tighten back up to where the depth you want it to be. Now that the line's cut, it's just a matter of pulling the fascia off and measuring up for the new one. To help get the fascia off, I'll use the jimmy bar and just jimmy it out. Okay, now so we're going to measure up for our fascia, we're going to measure the length we need. It's also important while we're here to measure the height of it as well so you get the right size fascia because it does come in different sizes. Now that's cut, it's time to put it up. I'm going to use a nail gun to do it today, but you can use a hammer and nail. If you're going to use hammer and nail, you got to make sure you use gal nails, otherwise they'll rust out. When using a nail gun, no same rules apply, safety equipment on. Now what we're going to do is fix up the gap here a little bit. We get a little bit of gap filler in there just to tidy it up so when it comes time to paint it looks Mickey Mouse. Okay, so now that's finished, I'm going to jump down, grab my gloves on, take the block out, put the nails back in the iron, put the brackets up for the guttering, put the gutter on and the job's finished. Put all the brackets back on now, coat of paint under the fascia, come up as good as gold, job's done.